Hi, welcome to Copenhagen. Thanks for dropping in. Hope everybody is doing well. Today I am unboxing a diamond painting with a difference from Homecraftology. Okay, so Homecraftology is the company that I bought my very first diamond painting from. And the reason I said this one was with a difference is I actually have two in here. But these are the latest from Homecraftology with new upgrades to the canvas and the packaging. So I have bought quite a few from Homecraftology. I think this is number 12 and number 13. So I'm very familiar with the company and the products. I know they switched to poured glue, I think it was in January this year. Um, and I did an unboxing uh, of one of them. But this one, it's the canvas has been upgraded and the packaging has been upgraded. So without further ado, we'll carry on. Um, very well packed, nice and uh, tight. Bubble wrap, <clears throat> no loose parts to get caught or ripped or anything like that. Uh, does have a big fragile sticker on it, uh, which may or may not come in useful with uh, the postal services. The other thing is you can actually see uh, what is inside the box before you open it because they have a description um, and a small uh, picture. So I'm just going to open one of these today. I don't want it to be a mega long video. So just decide where I'm going to open this. I'll just go for the end. So I don't know if the actual boxes have changed, but it's what's inside the boxes that has changed. So I'm just basically cutting the end off here. This is the part where you think, should I just do this before I record, or do people like to see the boxes actually, or the packages actually being opened? Being opened slowly. That is so tight. Okay, can't say it's uh, not well packed. So we actually have um, bubble wrap on the outside and then more bubble wrap on the inside. So it's double protected. And the boxes are actually held together with elastic bands so they don't move. That didn't take long, did it? So I'll switch this light off just now so we don't get the glare. So, oops, the rubber band had stuck to the glue. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the boxes look familiar, but they are different. Uh, they have changed the boxes. So we have uh, Homecraft Audio logo. Homecraftology Premium 5D Diamond Painting Kit Features recommended ages 10 to 99 Kit includes tools, wax, adhesive, canvas and all rhinestones uh, required Homecraftology.com Homecraftology 100% Homecraftology, Satisfaction Guarantee So that's it in the box um just checking it doesn't tell you on the box what's inside so i actually took advantage of uh, they were doing a buy one get one free offer 
so I had been good for a while not buying more uh, saw the buy one get one free and thought okay uh, Especially when I realised that they have upgraded their kits, I was really curious to see uh, the difference. So I'm just going to pick one, you know, mean, mean, more, blah, 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 that one. Okay. The other one will be coming up in a video near you soon. So we'll have a look. Uh, isn't taped, so this will be nice and easy to open. And here we go. So this is the first difference. Just checking there's nothing in the box. So first immediate difference. The canvas is in the bag. And it is branded from Craftology. Looks very nice. And it has a tie. So you could use it if you decide uh, to take your diamond painting with you somewhere. You could carry it in here. And uh, it has the little pull tie, which is nice. So it could definitely come in handy. Uh, blue ribbon, nice little touch. Uh, that's also new. So we'll just uh, pull the ribbon. take that off. Now before we actually look at the canvas I want to see what we get with the drills and the goodie bag. So as always lots of drills. Uh, the drills are inside the canvas. Just put that to the side. <coughs> yeah a lot of drills in this one. So we'll put that to the side just now and we'll have a look go away uh, switch this light back on have a look and see what we get in the goodie bag so let's take everything out first okay so pen always get a pen so home craftology do the clear one um, most of the time you get pink. Some companies do blue. From Craftology are doing clear. So single placer, no multi placer, just the basic straw. So pretty much standard. Um, you do get a squidgy, nice day glow pink. And uh, the squidgy, the idea of that is you slide it onto the pen makes it a bit thicker, a bit more comfortable to hold for long periods of time rather than just holding the straw. So that helps. You don't always get squidgies. Um, wax comes in a nice little container. So we get a circle of wax, which doesn't look much, but um, it's surprising how far this stuff can go. So a nice little container, keeps it clean, Keeps it uh, getting some dust off that. Uh, keeps it clean and uh, stops it drying out. Being in this little container, so that's handy. Then we have the tray, uh, which is the basic tray. Um, has the angled sides, which um, I've always said I don't like. Uh, but again, that's a personal thing. But the reason is because. When you touch the sides, they because they have that angled side, um, they flip over really easily. And once you've done that accidentally a few times, um, you'll start to rethink uh, what kind of tray you use. But it is pretty much the standard tray. It does have the spout, which is good because if you have tic tac boxes like I use, um, these things are handy because they fit exactly inside the lid of a tic tac and uh, you can just tip the drills in so it's good for that and then we have tweezers um, <coughs> pretty basic tweezers the sort of tin ones and um, they are very soft i find that i have problems holding on to drills with these i prefer 
the the thicker ones, uh, the ones that are very sharp pointed. Um, if you already diamond paint, you probably know the style that I'm talking about. But basic tweezers, um, better than nothing. But that's about as much as I would say about them. So that's the kit. Or I should say the goodie bag. Now we have a look at the kit. Um, I'm just trying to see how this is put together. Yeah. Or maybe not. Yeah. So it has this uh, glue strip. And this is the noisiest part. So I can get it done. Plenty of drills, some nice, uh, nice blue, I like that colour. So this is what we have. This is uh, a peacock, obviously. The reason that I chose this is because uh, my wife and I visit Tivoli a lot in Copenhagen. It's uh, an amusement park and gardens, and they have peacocks there. And this reminded us of the male who tends to sit up on the railing and uh, let everybody know he's there. So that was the reason that we went for this. It means something to us. So this is the key, and I'm wondering why I've got two sheets. Oh, right, okay. I found out why I have two sheets. Um, so this is the key. So we have uh, the symbol, we have the DMC number, how many are in the bag, how many bags we've got, and the weight of each bag. So um, just having a quick look at the print, um, the print is fine, uh, can read that no problem. We have basic instructions on how to diamond paint here. The reason we have uh, two sheets is because I had one other colour. So there's 47, just checking to make sure it tallies, yep. So 47 colours on this one. So if you have more than 46 colours in your diamond painting, you will get a second sheet. So that's the key. Now the drills. So lots of drills. Um, these are the small bags that come in strings. There's about 200 drills in each. So it does take quite a bit of time to prep up with this because you have to cut each bag open and the way that I prep up um, I actually like to have all of the drills in containers before I start so I would actually go through all of this and open everything put them in the containers and then it's done I'll actually uh, I'll stick a little video up here showing how I prepare uh, the drills so I'll put that up here um, so checking they are square and just looking at them um, checking to see if we can see any little bars if there's any oil or anything inside the bags the drills are all loose they look nice and clean I have a lot of 453 um, but as I said I've, I've used Tonecraftology for what the roughly two years that I've been diamond painting now um, my very first diamond painting was from them it was a 60 by 60 in square drills so um, that was how I started diamond painting and now I'm uh, getting ready to do more square drills um, just quick checks everything looks absolutely fine, drills look nice and uh, I like this colour and I like that colour I like bright colours in diamond paintings so lots of drills to check um, for anybody who is new and maybe hasn't even uh, got a diamond painting yet what we do is we check our list here against what we've actually got 
So I just pick one at random. Of course, pick one so screwed up. But we have, uh, yeah, you can see that nine six four. These numbers are always in numerical order, the DMC codes. So I'm looking for 964. So 964, look along, I need one bag. One bag. So I would put that to the side, get my pen, and I would check it. And then what I do is go through, or what you should do is go through everything and make sure you have all of your drills and for example the one that I just dropped 3860 again up at eh, numerical order not alphabetical eh, 3860 so 3860 four bags one two three four four bags check that so 3860 correct so what you do is go through all of your drills, check them against the sheet. They have been checked, you can see someone, someone has already uh, mapped them, but you should always double check. If you go through them and you find that anything is missing, all you have to do is contact Home Craftology Customer Services and just let them know you bought this kit and DMC number, whatever it is, you are missing however many bags and they will send them out to you as soon as possible free of charge so the reason that you want to do this now is because when you come to do your diamond painting you don't want to be nearly finished and then suddenly realize hang on a minute i'm short of a certain color and then you have to wait on the drills being posted and that can take a bit of time um, it's best to make sure you've got everything ready so what I'll do later on is I'll go through all of these I'll check them all off make sure I've got everything then what I do is I put the drills in a freezer bag and I put this in with them just fold it up like that and that way I know that these drills are for this diamond painting when I get around to doing this I have no idea I have got quite a lot um, that I want to do first so this is definitely going to be a project in 2022 absolutely maybe 2023 so um, that's the way that I, I keep them so that's uh, that's it pretty much as far as the drills go um, it does tell you here the size it's 50 by 75 so that's 50 centimeters across 75 centimeters down so yeah, that'll be, that'll be nice. So, I'm going to move all this. And because they're in uh, these sealed bags, I don't have to be too fussy. So, I can just drop them on the floor because I need the space. So, just dump them. Um, if you get drills that are in resealable bags, um, just be careful if you're going to do something like that because the bag may pop open and you don't want a full bag of drills uh, scattering out on the floor. But these are all sealed so I don't have to worry about that. So that's it. So now the good part. Have a look at the canvas. So the canvas is poured glue so we don't have any uh, air bubbles in it or we shouldn't have we would, don't expect any uh, I don't think you can get air bubbles in port glue but somebody may prove me wrong so far I never have initially uh, home craftology did double sided adhesive and that is where you tend to get air bubbles the larger the diamond painting the more chance you're going to get it but they switched over to poured glue, so they only do poured glue now, so you don't have to worry about that. So, again, it's got the size at the top and a thumbnail. And then we've got the key printed on the canvas. The canvas is definitely thicker than it used to be, uh, definitely. It feels, uh, feels a lot better. So... 
and you can hear that it's, it's not starchy or anything it's, it's really flexible pretty thick so it definitely makes a difference oops got bits and pieces inside oh I didn't know this was coming either full of surprises okay just make sure I've got everything there uh, I didn't realise that I was getting this so this comes in the kit as well this is some uh, release paper that if you don't like the clear stuff you can put these down um, in working sections well I work in sections anyway I actually do use release paper so the idea of this is you put these down I'll go to the bottom because that's where I would normally start I'll quickly switch the light off again get rid of that reflection or most of it um, just a, a very brief uh, thing about release paper so what I do is with this size because it's quite big I would actually do about up halfway and then I would turn it around and do the bottom half or it's actually the top but you know what I mean so the way that I do it is okay I'll get it so you can see um, I would start in this corner and the reason that I do that is because I'm right handed so as I fill this in and then move to the next section so basically I've got a sheet there and that is there so you have them overlapping so that they're easy to pick up so you can just uh, peel that off and work this section when that's done you're ready to go into this now the whole thing would be I'm on a slanted table so these are going to slide about but I'll try and give you the rough idea if I can so that would be the bottom row roughly so I would I would do that section in fact that would be the bottom row the overlap is just so it's easy to pick up if you put them side by side on the glue it's, it's hard to get a grip of them so you want a little bit of an overlap just so you can peel them off so if I did the first section this would all now be drills so because I'm right handed my hand would sit on top of them so it wouldn't be sitting on glue if I worked it from this side um, it can your hand can end up sitting on the glue if you work the opposite way if you're left handed you would probably start on the left hand side so lift up sheet do that section peel up the next sheet do that section peel up the next sheet do that section peel up the next sheet now the reason that people use release paper is because maybe they don't like the clear stuff I don't I don't like this because I don't like being able to see the whole picture I prefer uh, to use release paper and I only see the section that I'm working on at a time and then I gradually build up the picture uh, I just prefer to do it that way so some people uh, prefer release paper some people don't so Homecraftology have given you some uh, to try it and see what you think and if you decide that this is how you would like to do it I'm sure uh, you can buy more um, you only have what six sheets obviously not enough to cover this thing normally what I would do is remove the whole cover and put release paper so I was just going to mention how I do that so what I do is I put the first sheet down where I'm going to finish so I'll just do it for what we can see so I would have that sheet there that sheet would be there that sheet would be there so I work it backwards until the last piece I put down is like that the reason I do that is it means that the overlap is here to pick up if you do it the other way and put that down first and then that first and then that it means that the piece that you're working on is underneath the next one if you know what I mean it's easier if you have it that way so start up in this side go along put the sheets down then I would turn it around and do the same thing again um, obviously if I had enough release paper so poured glue and you have the clear cover and these uh, wrinkles that you can see are just the cover it's not the actual canvas so we'll have 
a look. Uh, the other thing is this new canvas is basically self-flattening. While I've been talking, um, the canvas has been settling itself down. I haven't, uh, I haven't had to peel the cover up halfway and all that sort of thing to get it to lay down. Um, it does it itself. So that is the, the big thing about the new canvas. It levels itself. So basically all you have to do is put the canvas down and you can start. As you work, um, it just flattens itself. So that is a really nice thing. Uh, it can be quite annoying having, when you get a diamond painting, having to wait a few days um, on it settling down or having to put it under a mattress or having to put weights on it and that sort of thing. You don't have to worry about that with these new uh, canvases from Home Craftology, which is really nice. Um, as I said, it's definitely thicker than the old canvases and I really like the fact that it, it settles itself. As you saw, I didn't try and roll it back the way to counter the, the, the uh, folds and everything's settling itself. So the only things that we can see here are just the cover. Um, if I peel that back, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no bubbles. So that isn't anything to think about. The glue is perfectly flat. The canvas flattens itself. It's a nice way. It, it feels good. And uh, just have a, I'll put this light back on again, just have a little look at the actual print quality. So, don't know how close I can go with focus, but um, you can see there's absolutely no problems reading that. It's very, very clear. So, yeah, very nice. I would say the canvas actually feels, I don't know, twice as heavy, uh, maybe three times. It's definitely, it's hard to explain, but it's definitely thicker and heavier and the back is different. It's, you see that? It's not the sort of interwoven canvas like you would normally expect. I don't know what it is, but it definitely makes a difference. So, let's see it a bit better. So that's it. Uh, the latest uh, upgrades from Home Craftology. So we get a much better canvas, I would say. Um, self flattening, which is really nice. And uh, we have some release paper. I would imagine if you get a smaller one, it might be enough. But for these larger ones, you would definitely need to buy uh, more release paper. And I'm pretty sure they sell it on their website uh, under the accessories. So if you like using it, you could order more. Um, poured glue, which is a recent upgrade. Uh, no more worrying about uh, air bubbles and having to slice them and all that stuff. So it's just a matter of uh, checking your drills and getting your stuff set up and off you go uh, which is obviously nice so uh, that's it oh the bag the bag forgot to mention the bag um, again as i said if you're uh, maybe taking your uh, your diamond painting somewhere i know that some people don't just do diamond painting at home if you wanted to transport it um, you could roll it up with the drills on the outside if it's partly done and put it inside this little bag to carry it. Um, so yeah, that's nice. So that's pretty much it I think. Um, yeah. So that's uh, the latest upgrade from uh, Home Craftology. As I said, uh, I started out diamond painting with Home Craftology about two years ago um, and 
I have bought quite a few. Uh, as I said, I think this is number 12 and number 13. So I'm very familiar with their products. And I have to say, uh, Chris, this is by far the best upgrade yet. Uh, the canvas is really nice. Uh, it's one of these things that's hard to explain in video, but uh, the quality of the canvas is nice and heavy. Um, you don't need to uh, mess about trying to flatten it. It will do it itself. Just lay it down and it will settle. Um, poured glue, um, that upgrade was uh, I think at the beginning of this year, but the canvas is a big improvement, definitely. Uh, the bag, uh, handy if you go mobile with your diamond painting, you want to carry it in something. Um, the release paper, a good idea I think to let people try it, um, so you can uh, try before you buy basically. Um, I think there's what six six pieces there, uh, nowhere near enough to cover this uh, diamond painting, but it is enough um, to give people an idea of that is if that is the way that they want to go. Um, some people use release paper, some people don't. So I think rather than supplying it with every kit, it's basically a sample, so you can decide um, whether you want to use that or not. And if you do, uh, you can buy more. Um, the th other thing that I forgot to mention was uh, when the release paper fell out, I got, uh, I got sidetracked. Um, they have their own instruction sheet, which is better than most. Um, a lot of them, um, they are tiny little pictures and it doesn't make a lot of sense if you haven't diamond painted before. Um, it can be a bit confusing what you're actually meant to be doing. Um, Homecraftology have got their own sheet which nice big uh, pictures, easy to read and it makes sense. So it's nice to have that for uh, newcomers. So uh, <clears throat> nothing much else I can say, uh, the drills are fine. Um, they're in the little 200 bags, which some people don't like because it has a lot of cutting uh, when you're prepping up. But the actual drills are very good. Um, I, I didn't expect that they wouldn't be. Um, so all I have to do now is go through the list to make sure that I have all of the drills I should have. Pop them in a freezer bag, put the key in a freezer bag, tie a knot on it and put it in the cupboard beside all the rest. Um, as I said, it's definitely going to be next year um, before I start on this one. But um, it's going to look really nice. I really like it. So that's it. Uh, another one from Homecraftology coming up soon. Uh, as I said, they had a buy one get one free and I went for that. So um, we'll have a look at another one in the near future. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video and you would like to see more unbaggings, unboxings, comparisons, accessories, pens, um, please subscribe and hit the notification button. If you do that, you may catch me live on YouTube Live and you can drop in and have a bit of a chat. Um, I like to do them just to get to know other diamond painters around the world, maybe learn a little bit about where you live. Um, I'm originally from Scotland, as you can probably tell from the accent, but I now live in Copenhagen, Denmark. And sometimes I'll talk about uh, the differences between living in Scotland and living in Denmark. And I am always curious to know where people are that are watching the videos. So if you would like to drop in and have a little bit of a chat, uh, please feel free. Um, as I said, subscribe, hit the notification button and you may catch me live. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, take care, be safe and wash your hands.